perhaps at one point or another you've had a job that you didn't quite enjoy. So how do you stay motivated and perform at your best? Our etiquette expert, Diane Gottsman, here to talk to us a little about it. It's always great to have you here, Diane. Thank this you. is such a great topic. You've got 10 tips for us that'll help us dig deep and stay motivated. Tip one, put yourself first. We always put everyone else first, including our job. Yeah. So before you get up, before you get out in the morning, you make sure you're having a good breakfast. You know, it might be different for you right. than what it would be for me. But if you want yogurt, I want oatmeal, do something that is going to get you nourished. Get out there and exercise. You know, wiggle, whether it's in the evening, whether it's in the morning. Something that really benefits you. Because you're not a great boss or a great mom if you're not taking care of yourself. Oh, absolutely. I've got to take that nap in the afternoon. That's right. Or if not, I'm, not I'm, I'm no good to my children. And, yeah. and the whole point is being, is being good to them. So I like that idea. Stimulate your brain. What do you mean by that? Again, we're talking about going to a job that we're not motivated at, you know, so if you're on your way to work, you might want to listen to a podcast. You might want to listen to an audiobook, or you might just want to jam out and, you know, listen to yeah. loud music. So it's preferential, but it's whatever motivates you before you get to the office. I, I hear what you say. I listen to news radio on my way into work. Kind of gets you started. Gets a day started. Sure. Stimulate the brain. Invest in looking your best. It sounds so simple, but people can tell how you feel based on how you dress. So if you don't like your job, you're going to be prone to not want to get up, get motivated to get dressed nicely. But you're always on. So whether you go to lunch and you meet someone, you never know when that next contact may be your next employer. You feel better when you look you good, do. too. And, and looking good is... Uh is everybody has their opinion of that or their right. idea of that minimize irritating distractions what do you mean by that well, whether we like our job or not there's always something going on at the office that might distract us so if you check your email constantly like i do you know that's my thing that i'm always looking at my email even while i'm in the middle of something else just say i'm only going to check it every half hour or once an hour now for me and for you perhaps we can't right. do that but it might be closing your door if we've got a loud talker or it could be checking your cell phone you know we tend to check our cell phone very often so whatever distracts you you know you should look at and say how can I adjust so I can really pay attention to what I'm doing at work yeah little changes like that focus on your long-term goals even if you are not where you want to be today you can you have we all should have long-term goals and they can change so just because we say this is where we want to be you know along our journey it may or may not change but it, it generally does so just just have a goal in mind that helps you with what you're doing today you're not you're not going to be stuck at where you are but you're working towards a goal yeah it gives you something to look forward to and, and really makes everything better um exciting challenges how do we find those even when you're at a job you don't like you can find something that is going to challenge you so don't be afraid to ask your boss what can i what can i help you with what can i learn because you're gaining skills so Regardless of where you are at, you can find more to do that will give you something that's going to help you along the way. And freshening up your environment, I like this idea. Something simple, like an inspiration board. It doesn't have to be about your job. It can just be a little cork board of things that you want to see, places you want to travel to, a little picture, a, a a plant, a vase of flowers. A plant something. is always great, or even a lamp. I've seen a lot of people put those banker lamps on their desks, and it, it creates a, a great aura, a great mood. Just an ambiance. You know what I like? I like those salt rocks. Yes. Well, there's a little, it's a little boat that has these rocks in it, and I just love that. That makes me happy when I walk into my office. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's good to have that. Engage with the experts. What do you mean by that? Don't be afraid to reach out to people you don't know. So follow their blog, follow them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, interact with them, and you will be surprised at how many will speak back to you. Also on the list you have little details that can make a big difference. A smile, your <laughs> body language, just tiny little things that we don't think other people notice. But if you are upbeat, if you are engaging, if your posture is positive, other people are affected by it as well. Yeah, it's, it's contagious. It's Attitude, contagious. whether it's good or bad, is contagious. And we want the good kind anywhere right. else. Last but not least, look at the big picture. Is that similar to long-term goals yes. and challenges? Yes. You know, the whole picture. It's not just, you know, you're at work during the day, but even if you don't like your job, that's what this is about, 
you don't have to be miserable at your job. You know, you are gaining skills, you are meeting contacts, you are setting the pace and, you know, setting, oh. setting yourself up for future success. It's all a matter of attitude. Right. Yeah, you're right, a matter of perspective, looking at it, uh, like the cliche says, you know, the glass half full because we spend so much time at work. We got to right. try to be happy. And think of, our, think of the way that we talk to ourselves, you know, make it positive and not negative. Love that. Diane Gottsmith, as always, we appreciate all of your tips. We'll have more on this on our Facebook and, uh, and our uh, website. My